Okay, so as we go into the main focal point of our class today, we are speaking about your power and your ability to express your power unapologetically, feeling free to be who you are. So I wanna speak a little bit about this. Often as we're growing up or we're dealing with the world or we're dealing with our, you know, in our adolescent times and relationships and all those things, we tend to give away a lot of our power. We think it's taken away, but we actually give it away. Or we may have experienced times in our life where being powerful kind of got us into trouble, even if it's not in this lifetime. So we perhaps develop a fear of our power. So there's different relationships that we have with our power. Either we've let it leak out or we've given it away or, you know, bad relationships or whatever has gone on that we all have had to deal with. Or we have a sense of kind of a lack of understanding of our power. So this is power as defined by source. It's not about overpowering or rah. It's not about that kind of energy. It's just simply being in that connected space. When you are connected to your source, connected with the earth, when you're in that space of, you'll hear me say, your space of verticality, when we're not interacting from a reactionary space, you are in your power. So power as defined by source, not by human terms of you know how we think about when we think about power, but really going in and claiming your power. Oftentimes, for those of you who have done um, individual sessions with me, when we do a cord cutting, we're pulling back your power back into you because we do give away a lot of ourselves, especially sometimes we... Uh, confuse uh, loving someone with giving our power away to them. So really being in that space of your own wholeness and connecting with yourself and we're pulling the power back in and then really feeling I am free to express my power unapologetically. If you're around other people who get threatened by you being powerful, you tend to pull back because you want to make sure you're not if you're a kind, considerate person, you want to make sure you don't feel your power doesn't overwhelm someone else. So you really want to, you won't overwhelm someone else if you're really in a grounded sense of your power, right? If it's really as defined by source, you're simply expressing the power of love. But sometimes that has a firmness to it. That's has a, you know, there's, there's, you can say no with a sense of power and just feel like you have that ability to express yourself without apologizing for it. So what we want is that sense of freedom, freedom to express yourself, freedom to express your power unapologetically. 